Hello and welcome to the Influencers Online Social Entrepreneurship Curriculum. This is the video for Module 7, Unit 1, and in this unit, you'll learn how to build social brand awareness. Social media platforms have a lot of features that can drive traffic to your page through sponsoring or advertising posts, events, or through algorithms that suggest pages or channels to general audiences organically. There are a number of social media golden rules that you must follow. For example, post consistently, post a mix of different content, use emojis, share funny content, and host Q&A sessions. One of the main shortcomings of advertisements are click farms that increase the quantity of easy quantitative metrics like views, likes, and even comments accelerated with the use of chatbots to create the illusion of a successful post or page. This unit will focus on how you can drive traffic from organic search engines, not from within social media platforms, but from search engines. The problem arises when these performance metrics are scrutinized and rewarded by the market, irrespective of whether they are organic or paid for. Most social media platforms like YouTube have built their platforms to make it as easy as possible to define keywords and thumbnails when uploading content. In this module, we will delve into more traditional ways of online awareness outreach, mainly focused on 1. How to make your website appear high in search results in search engines, and 2. How to create an outreach campaign using emails. Search engine optimization, or SEO, is the process of increasing the visibility of a website or a web page to users that perform internet searches using search engines like Google, YouTube, or Bing, among others. A good SEO can help a social entrepreneur get their business to rank as high as possible amongst results on the search engine results page. People are more likely to click through the link if it is visible and appealing in the search web page. Some SEO best practices include title tags, which are particularly important for search engines. These must be unique and not repetitive for every page, be short, include brand names, and use familiar format like primary keywords, secondary keyword, brand names, meta description that helps the user to click on your website's link according to the keywords that you use from the search engine results page. These are usually short, between 150 and 160 characters, include good quality content, use keywords, and are easy to read. We will now look at some examples of SEO tools. Google Search Console is a free service that helps you monitor, maintain, and troubleshoot your site's presence in Google Search results. You don't need to sign up for the Search Console to be included in Google Search results, but the Search Console helps you understand and improve how Google sees your site. Google Keyword Planner is a free Google Ads tool for new or experienced advertisers that's like a workshop for building new search network campaigns. You can use Keyword Planner to search for keywords and see how a list of keywords might perform or choose competitive bids and budgets to use with your campaigns. The way that the search items are presented in the search page can make the difference between someone clicking and not clicking on your website. Search engine page layouts have changed quite a bit since the old days, going from this. Accelerated mobile pages are optimized for mobile web browsing and are meant to help web pages load faster. When searching for content, users are sometimes presented with a featured snippet from a website. Google also features rich results, which highlight top stories. List or detail rich results also provide users with additional information gathered from different sites, like movie reviews from multiple sources. Anytime your website or web page appears in a search result page, irrespective of whether it's visible or you need to scroll down, the URL counts it as an impression. According to Google Ads Help, organic click-through rate is the ratio showing how often people see your ad and end up clicking it. Click-through rate, or CTR, can be used to gauge how well your keywords and ads are performing. You can calculate CTR as the number of clicks in the link divided by the number of times your ad is shown. For example, 10 clicks at 100 impressions would put your CTR at 5%. CTR is important because a relatively high CTR can indicate that users find your ads relevant and can show that you are focused on the right networks and target groups. Organic CTR acknowledges that there are some bot clicks, for example, through the use of bots or click farms, and therefore do not represent actual customers. You can easily find out your website CTR from Google Search Console. Once you're on the Google Search Console, go to Performance, and it will display all the website search metrics. You've now completed this short resource. Why not move on and check out Unit 2 of this module on the Influencers Project website at www.influencersproject.eu.